this is on linear algebra quadratic form to matrix and matrix to quadratic form before we proceed subscribe and turn on notifications to get updated whenever i upload future content we are given that x is equal to this matrix x1 x2 and we have to compute the quadratic form of this matrix now what is a quadratic form a quadratic form is any expression of this form q of x is equal to x transpose times a times x matrix x is of this form x is equal to x1 x2 so the transpose of this matrix is this x1 x2 that is the columns will become the row now a here is the matrix of the quadratic form so let's see how we're going to achieve the quadratic form of this matrix so q of x is equal to x transpose like i just showed you is the matrix x1 x2 times the matrix of the quadratic form that is 3 minus 2 minus 2 7 times x itself that is x1 x2 so now we are going to multiply these two matrices first so x1 x2 remains times this 3 times x1 is 3 x1 plus minus 2 times x2 is minus 2 x2 so this is minus 2 x2 minus 2 times x1 is minus 2 x1 plus 7 times x2 is what 7 x2 okay so now we're going to multiply these two matrices lastly in this way x1 we multiply the element in this first row that is 3x1 minus 2x2 and then x2 that's plus x2 we multiply the element in this last row minus 2x1 plus 7x2 so this is what we have x1 times 3x1 is 3x1 squared then x1 times minus 2x2 is minus 2x1 x2 then x2 times minus 2x1 is minus 2x1 x2 and lastly x2 times 7x2 is plus 7x2 squared so let's simplify 3x1 squared then minus 2x1 minus, minus 2x1 x2 minus 2x1 x2 is minus 4x1 x2 they are both like terms then plus 7x2 squared so this is the quadratic form of this matrix so this is our quadratic form now having gotten this let us get the matrix of this quadratic form let's see how we're going to do that let me quickly do that here we are dealing with two variables here x1 x2 so our matrix will be a square matrix that is a matrix that has equal number of rows and columns so x1 is this this column is for x1 this column is for x2 this row is for x1 this row is x2 now the question of x1 of x1 squared here is 3 and x1 times x1 will produce x1 squared so i'll write that coefficient here x x2 squared the coefficient is what 7 and x2 times x2 will give me x2 squared and that falls on this point so here we'll go what 7 now we have minus 4x1 x2 okay uh, the the question of x1 x2 here is minus 4 and we know that x1 times x2 is x1 x2 and also x2 times x1 is x1 x2 now we have just one coefficient for x1 x2 but we have two points where these values will be fixed so what do we do we will share this minus 4 into two equal parts to have minus 2 and what? minus 2 so this is the matrix of this quadratic form 
exactly what we were given initially. So, this is how to change a matrix to a quadratic form and a quadratic form back to the matrix. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get updated whenever future video comes up. I'll see you in my next class. Subscribe.